Hello and welcome to my review of the Apothecarian Detachment for Warhammer the Horus Heresy from Games Workshop. Now this detachment or pair of two apothecaries will cost you £30 and consists of 22 resin components and comes with two 32mm bases. It is an expert kit which means it's in resin. Although it's sold by Games Workshop, it's technically a Forge World kit. So it's the Forge World resin and not the Citadel Finecast. The format of this uh, review uh, will be as usual. I'll have a look at the miniatures up close, uh, look at the detail, how easy they were to build. There are no spare parts. What you see is what you get. Uh, typically that's uh, for resin miniatures unless they come with um, helmetless options, which these two do not. Would have been nice to see helmetless options though. I'll go through some size comparisons with the other resin apothecaries from Forge World, which are no longer available, uh, and some other Space Marines and different Mark Armors. Then I'll go through all of their rules found in the Legiones Astartes army book. So first of all, let's have a look at the miniatures up close. Now I did build these in a live stream. Um, you know, obviously I talk and things in the live stream, non-stop pretty much uh, so you can expect to build these uh, within about an hour uh, after you've soaked them in warm soapy water and things and dried them off so you get the mark 6 apothecary and the heresy armor mark 5 apothecary um, pretty cool uh, that we're you know in some form or another getting mark 5 um, space marines hopefully we'll get a mark 5 kit although my wish list is mark 2 uh, crusade armor over anything um, but yeah i'm pretty sure we will get uh, mark 5 at some point if they're redoing sort of mark 3 and mark 6 and all the rest of it so let's just focus on the mark 6 first of all very nice space marine very nice apothecary uh, lots of detail um, was very simple to build. Uh, all of the parts have plug and socket um, components. You can cut the uh, plugs off and then just sort of pose the arms whichever way you want. Um, you, you know, you could raise that chainsaw. The chainsaw and the arms are very similar on both of the models, um, but it's the armor that really draws you in. Um, you know, this Mark VI has helmeted has a helmet, has the sort of apothecary robe. Um, the studs are very big and prominent. There are more and they're smaller on the Mark V. We'll have a look at that. You've got this Medica symbol type thing. You've got the Narthesium. You've got the Reductor, which is this, um, you know, needle thing that they jab into the Space Marine to remove, uh, recover, to recover the uh, gene seed. Um, you've got the vials. Um, you've got the searchlight. You've got the sensors. A very nice miniature. Um, lots of detail, lots of 3D detail, got the bolt pistol in a uh, holster there, um, got some vials and um, a little pouch as well, just very cool miniature. Now Games Workshop could have sold these for, you know, let's be honest, £26 or so each. They didn't, they decided to go uh, down the route of having a pack of two of them for 30, which I think is the best way. Um, yes, you know, it means that if you've only got one Space Marine Army and you only collect Mark VI and you don't really want the Mark V one, then yeah, it's a bit of um, tough luck really, isn't it? Um, because you can have a spare uh, apothecary. But that's what they did with the um, previous um, apothecaries, the Mark III and the Mark IV. So that's what they've done with, with these two. You could say we could have had them in plastic, but again, let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, if they brought out plastic uh, Horus Heresy um, Apothecary, it would be a minimum of £24. So this was the best cost-effective way of them doing it. And they're obviously very popular because they're, they're both sold out. You can't get them uh, on the web store at the moment. This is the Mark V, and this is probably the reason why you get this little set. Um, this guy is so cool. Uh, 
he still works with the colour scheme that they've gone for, the Imperial Fists uh, Legion with the yellow and white, but I'm really tempted to um, paint him in the Word Bearer's colour and have him as uh, the Word Bearer's Apothecary, um, or even the Death Guard one. Uh, I just think he looks really, really cool. Um, I love all the studs everywhere, you know, the rivets and things. Um, there's so many rivets uh, on the left shoulder pauldron. I love the, the helmet. Obviously looks very similar to Mark 7, 8 and 9 um, helmet uh, types. He's even got a grenade. He's got his bolt pistol as well. He's got the reductor, which looks similar to the Mark 6 one. The power plant has subtle differences over the Mark 6. He's got studded greaves as well. And of course, he's got the, the Medicaid symbols dotted about. Um, would have been nice to have something on one of the uh, knee armor pieces, but there we go. Very cool mini, um, both of them are, are awesome, I think. Let's have a look at some size comparisons because there are no spare parts. Uh, so first of all, I'll compare them to the older apothecaries, which are right here. So we've got the Mark III um, apothecary. Now these apothecaries were quite big, really, compared to their plastic sort of counterparts. They're on the same size 32 mil bases. Height-wise, the, the Mark III is a little bit taller, but that's mainly because of that um, scenic base, you know, that, that rock that he stood on. If he wasn't on that, he would probably be a bit smaller. But that's great in a way, because if you were able to still pick this one up, then um, he'd go well with the new uh, Mark III uh, Space Marines. Um, differences is that he's holding his um, bolt pistol and the reductor, the wrist-mounted uh, chain blade thing uh, is also more kind of the teeth are bigger and more harsher and then the chain sword as well um, uh, it doesn't have a guard on the uh, on the reverse um, and seems to have a load more vials and things going through to the armor um, but still a lovely miniature that's where he holds up and um, compared to the mark V. Again, similar story. So if you do have these older apothecaries, size-wise, they're gonna work very well with the new ones. Um, mark IV then, uh, which is typically the smallest mark, um, he is, again, taller than the Mark VI. So these are the brand, brand new resin miniatures from Forge World, compared to these, which probably came out, I wanna say like 2012, 2013, um, quite a long time ago. Uh, these have been around and still size wise the older ones are well taller um, I'm not saying that the plastic kits are um, tall as well and it definitely has something to do with them standing on some kind of scenic rock or whatever this apothecary again has the bolt pistol out ready for action um, the chain sword is a bit lackluster compared to the new ones. The new ones are, are nicer than this Mark IV one. And then for some reason, he's got this vial thing uh, on his reductor, which I don't think really goes that well. I would probably remove that. Um, and the power plant as well, or the Narthesium, I think it works better on the newer models than this one. It's just got some like um, tubing like attached to it. And then, you know, standard sort of Mark IV. Um, vents there. Compared to the Mark V, uh, again, size-wise, Mark IV is, is bigger uh, than the new Mark V um, uh, apothecary. So there you go. I think it has to do with the, the poses that they're in and they're on rocks. Um, no doubt that these um, brand new apothecaries will probably be the same size if they were on uh, on slightly larger rocks. They do have like little plates that they're on, but not much at all. Uh, I like their poses. Um, they're not sort of action poses. Uh, this one's just sort of walking forward. The Mark V uh, is about to use the chainsaw, I think. And that's a, a nice contrast compared to the, the two action poses that the older uh, apothecaries are in. Compared to, okay, some plastic um, Horus Heresy Marines then. Um, let's start off with the new Mark III and the Mark VI then. So we've got the Mark VI plastic um, Space Marine. I would say the Apothecary is just a little bit taller, just, just a little bit taller. And I think that has to do with the little rock plate that he's, he's stood on um, and the fact that the Narthesium has those extra bits on the top. Um, compared to the Mark V, I think the Mark V, again, the Mark V is a bit taller, probably something to do with the Narthesium II. 
so that gives you an idea of you know I say the newest these came out two years ago now and believe it or not these came out almost two years ago um, and then the mark 3 compared to the mark 6 is smaller than this um, apothecary and then the mark 5 uh, again is bigger than the new mark 3 so if you're getting these apothecaries although they are smaller than the old two apothecaries they are taller than the new plastic um, space marine so they are going to stand out and they're going to work very well with your um, new plastic Horus Heresy. The old plastic um, space marines though so I've got a mark 3 here and the mark 3 is smaller and of course the mark 4 is smaller than this mark 5 uh, as well as the Mark III. So your apothecaries, these brand new apothecaries, as I say, they're going to be the tallest of your sort of normal troops, um, depending on characters and consoles and you know things like that. But if you're bundling them with the Mark Sixes or the Mark Threes, hopefully we'll get some um, Mark Fives in plastic. Uh, then they're going to be taller um, than than your standard troops, which is nice. Compared to say like a Contemptor Dreadnought, for instance, not sure why I'm doing this comparison, but there they are, um, stood next to a Dark Angels one. And then compared to some 40k miniatures, uh, the usual ones that I go for, um, which is a standard Space Marine, which is on a bit of a scenic base. Um, Mark V is, is bigger, taller. Primaris is a fair bit taller, you'd expect it to, because these are eight and a half feet tall. Um, Slight Marbo is probably chest height. And then if we just go for uh, the Mark VI, again, the Mark nine or eight really um, is smaller. Primaris is a fair bit taller, as you can see. And then Slime Marbo is a fair bit smaller as well. So these two are similarly heighted. Um, I'd probably say the Mark V is, is a little bit taller, um, like the head is a little bit taller. Um, but in terms of the the overall height, they're both they're both the same. Those Narthesiums, you know, the power plant um, apparatus at the back. Uh, so, so I hope that's um, a decent size comparison for you. If you were thinking about picking these up and you were slightly worried whether they would um, be way bigger than the current plastic uh, Horus Heresy range or um, way bigger than the old apothecaries, they're not. They are smaller. Okay, this is my part of the review where I will go through all of the rules for the Apothecarian Detachment. As I've mentioned earlier, you'll find them in your Legiones Astartes Army book, and they fall under the category of Elites. Um, you can take 0 to 1 Legion Apothecarian Detachment, uh, and the points cost is 45 points, and you get 1 Legion Apothecary. You can only take 1 Detachment per uh, force. That's why it has zero to one, much like the Legion Tech Marine Covenant. So what do you get for these 45 points? Well, for one Legion Apothecary, you get a movement speed of seven inches, weapon skill four, ballistic skill four, strength four, toughness four, one wound, initiative four, two attacks, leadership eight, and a save of three plus. Uh, a Legion Apothecary and Detachment may include up to seven additional Legion Apothecaries for 45 points per model. So yes, you can have eight Apothecaries in one uh, choice. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but you can. Um, the War Gear, they have a Bolt Pistol, a Chain Sword, a Narthesium, Frag Grenades, Crack Grenades, Power Armor, a Special Rules is Legiones, Astartes, and Apothecarian Detachment. Any Legion Apothecary may take one of the following, a Magna Combi Weapon for 10 points per model, a Minor Combi Weapon for 5 points, a Volkite Charger for 2 points. Any Legion Apothecary may exchange his Chainsword for one of the following, a Power Weapon for 10 points, or a Charnable Weapon for 10 points. May also exchange his Power Armour for Artificer Armour for 10 points per model, and may also take, and any Apothecary may take one of the following, a Warhawk Jump Pack for 15 points, a Spather Combat Bike for 15, or a Scimitar Jet Bike for 25 points. That's it for the kind of stat line and things. Let's just go on over the Apothecary and Detachment um, special rules. It uses up a single force organization slot and is bought in the same manner. 
However, before the first turn begins and any models are deployed to the battlefield, all models in an apothecary detachment must be assigned to another unit from the same detachment of the army they were selected as part of. Legion apothecaries that have not selected a Spatha combat bike or scimitar jet bike may only be assigned to units composed entirely of models with the infantry unit type and the same Legion is a starting special rule as the Legion apothecary and may not join units that have Terminator armour of any kind. So Terminators, you don't get any apothecaries. No apothecary can be assigned to any unit that includes one or more models with an independent character special rule or unique subtype and no more than one apothecary may be assigned to any given unit. So um, you basically buy all your apothecaries as one detachment and they use one elite choice and then you filter them out one per unit. Once assigned to a unit, the Legion Apothecary is considered part of that unit and may not leave it under any circumstances. If that unit is removed as a casualty, then the Legion Apothecary is removed as well. In battles using victory points, no victory points are ever scored for removing a, a Legion Apothecary as a casualty. When assigned to a unit, a Legion Apothecary gains all of the special rules, but does not gain access to any additional war gear options available to the unit to which it is assigned. Now the main reason why you'd pick one of these uh, is specifically for that Narthesium. This is the main reason why you spend 45 points on this model. So all models with the infantry or cavalry unit subtypes in that unit that includes at least one model with, an with a Narthesium gain the Feel No Pain 5 Plus Special Rule. So that's the main reason why you'd give uh, a unit one of these, is to get that 5 Plus Feel No Pain. Nothing else, um, you know, they don't have any extra special weapons and things, although you can equip them with um, like a power weapon and things as the war gear says, but that is the main reason you'd pick them. Just to bump up the survivability of your um, troops, of your infantry. And that's pretty much all I've got to say about the Apothecary and Detachment. Uh, I think they're very nice looking models. It gives me hope that we'll get some plastic Mark V Heresy Marines soon. What do you guys think of the Apothecary and Detachment? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.